liftoff for what might just be the most unusual play in the universe. It's the story of Apollo 13's unsuccessful mission to the moon. Sitting at the consoles of Mission Control are members of the audience. For this matinee, most were school children, but usually they're adults. One, two, three, four, five. Boosters are good. Test pressure complete. The professionals with the leading roles have to interact and ad lib with the audience, who in turn have to solve problems to bring the astronauts back to Earth. Before each show, a volunteer is recruited to join the crew, and they get to deliver the play's most famous line. The high-tech consoles have working phones, monitors and switches which have to be flicked in sequence to help save the stricken spacecraft. In one scene, the actors move off stage, leaving someone from the audience to answer a distress call from the lunar module. Uh, this is Michael. Okay, Michael. Uh, I need you to give me a CO2 uh, solution right now, please. I think it's probably the most unique show in the world. And you've got 100 new cast members every night. How do you deal with that? Oh, it's awesome. They come out with the best lines. Sometimes we ask kids how old they are, and I asked one young girl how old she was one time, and she said seven, and that tends to get quite a big laugh from the audience. You go, oh, that's pretty young to be in mission control. And then her sister piped up next to her and said, she's almost eight, um, which kind of then doubled the laughs. There's even a role for bigger kids like me, plucked from mission control to be interviewed by TV news anchor Walter Cronkite and give an update on the rescue efforts. We're working on them. There's people there with the truly minutes of experience. OK, it's not Shakespeare, but at least I got to act at the Sydney Opera House. The production has earned rave reviews and they hope to tour all over the world. We'd have to say we want to take the show to America. We've said that from day one uh, and it seems the most natural thing to do. Uh, and we think the Americans uh, would, would really enjoy this type of story. Um, as would anyone worldwide. I mean, space is a universal theme. Uh, it's a universal story of courage and hope. The audience feels so involved in the production that when the capsule successfully returns to Earth, there's a real sense of mission accomplished. <laughs> Apollo 13's story has already become a hugely successful movie, but Tom Hanks didn't have to act alongside amateurs. This is quite a big step for an actor, but it's one giant leap for theatre goers. Ian Woods, Sky News, Sydney.